Well, this is certainly an interesting day in terms of the matches, the City matches. Two games against Seville. The first one is the under-19 UEFA Youth Cup games, which I try to get to, particularly in England when I can. And City have already won this group, top of the group, four points clear. So what happens in this particular game doesn't really matter. And of course, it's the same thing tonight for the main game, when I expect there to be... Uh, basically on the 23 side playing against Seville. City have already won the group, Seville are already third. So it's the under 19s and then the under 23s. It'll be interesting to see how fans, maybe one or two journalists view the fact that this is slightly different than normal because we're not used to seeing games with absolutely nothing at stake. It is an opportunity to watch some of the young talent coming through, which I always enjoy watching. So I'm gonna focus on this game for the moment. Hopefully they'll score. Hopefully not score while I'm looking away, and then I will meet one or two people who and get get their views really on uh, on what today means to them. Yeah. Are you a regular watching these games? What, what do you think of the standard of the under 19s? I think it's pretty good. Um, to be fair, you know I didn't watch them you know 10 years ago, so I can't compare some of the players that are now in the senior team to the, to this lot. But they do look good, and they seem to you know they win, they hold the games. And, um, I think the defence is particularly good, I think. I mean, I'm really quite impressed by several of them. Um, I'm hoping to see some more youngsters in the, the game tonight as well. I've been waiting for this game in a way, because I quite I, I like seeing the future um, of the club, and I like it when in there, not necessarily completely homegrown, but obviously that's great, but, you know, brought up through the club system. Um, it's, it's quite exciting, really. I, I wonder if they're going to actually, I'm not sure who's on the squad list, I wonder if anybody who's actually here, who despite having played this afternoon, might get 10 minutes tonight. Um, Interesting thought. I think it's been done before. I'm sure there was a game when Cole Palmer did that, didn't he? A couple of years ago. Um, and that would be really good. One nil win for City then. Let's try and hear from Brian Barry Murphy, who is the coach of the under 19s. It's hugely rewarding. Uh, people have probably said to me it's a lot different to what I was used to before, but uh, I think the dressing room is the same, all the same dynamics, all the same con uh, competition for places, um, the same players trying to improve themselves and get better. So it, 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 a lot of it is the same, I think. Just at this club, the expectation is on the players to play a certain way and to, and to deal with kind of uh, being so recognised and, and having that identity. So it's a, it's a real unique uh, club in that sense and, and a very rewarding job for me overall. Yeah, I, I, I work more closely than, than, than I ever would imagine. Um, so it's uh, yeah, that part of the job is is obviously um, hugely satisfying, and uh, and the amount of time and encouragement he gives us is is probably way beyond what he would have to. So our players see him on a on a regular basis, and it's something that's probably unique about this club and, and, and makes it so exciting to work for. What I've noticed about this competition since I came here is the expectation that the players have because they know everybody watches this competition and they know the level of challenge is um, is so high. So they want to test themselves against the best players in Europe. Um, with, the, with, with the feeling that all eyes are on them and to have to do that and, uh, and perform to that level under that expectation is kind of significant because I think this club has become um, one of the biggest clubs in Europe and, and to play for this club you have to deal with those uh, circumstances and our players um, get used to that the more exposure we have so it's a priceless competition for us in so many ways really. You've got the best job in the world haven't you? Uh, it's very good, I feel very lucky I feel very privileged um, to have this exposure to this, to this competition to be honest, uh, before I did it um, I had no understanding of what it entailed, but uh, it, last season opened, opened my eyes to a lot of different things in this competition and made this season so exciting and to see the players um, so focused and, and, and so excited by the competition has been a great reward for me. Now your job on a match day is to do the translating, so that will be Spanish and English obviously, yeah. so you're neutral. So what, when you come to a game like this, what are you expecting? Um, I guess tonight's a funny one because on one of the rare occasions in a European game where there's nothing at stake, so you're kind of thinking, well, you'll see a couple of new faces. There's a kid coming from the youth system in Seville they were talking about at the press conference last night, who's highly thought of, so that people amongst the visiting press are excited to see him. You know, uh, it'd be nice to see Cole, this, this young lad that people talk about here. So yeah, I guess it'd be nice to see a game where you don't have any expectations almost and you can sit and relax and maybe enjoy the football for itself rather than thinking, oh blimey, 
I need them to go through so I can be working at the last 16. You know, so it's, it's, sometimes it's nice to go into an occasion where it's, it's not not too pent up and you're not too nervous. And I get that all the time watching my own team anyway, because we're not as good as City. What's your own team? I, I support Chesterfield, so we, we, National League is like trying to get out of Al Alcatraz. It's impossible. <laughs> uh, no one survives. Uh, so yeah, uh, so there are plenty of big encounters there, so it's nice to come on to a game where I can sit back as a neutral and enjoy it. Well then, when it gets to 20 minutes before the end, I'm starting to think about what the manager's going to talk about in the press conference. Hopefully, they get night, tonight there won't be anything too controversial. VAR won't be involved, because the Spanish are just obsess about VAR more than we do. So it'll be tough if, if they get a, a tight one uh, and the young lad from the youth system scores a goal which is choked off, they'll be going on for hours about it. So hopefully, Managers are in and out in five minutes and I get off home to Glossop and uh, have my supper. <laughs> Personally, I think it'll be an open game. Young lads get a run out. Uh, maybe Alvarez might bag one or two. And hopefully no injuries for weekend. Um, big crowd tonight, hopefully. Uh, I can't see there being much of an atmosphere, but you know, it's a bad night. I believe there's a bad accident up the road as well, so that's going to hold a few people back. But no, listen, it's... It's a pleasure to be in the Champions League game, isn't it? whatever way you look at it. I've seen a few people who've come in the stadium early with Haaland shirts on and De Bruyne shirts. Yeah, yeah. I think they're going to be disappointed tonight, aren't they? Yeah, well, I think a few were disappointed in Copenhagen, to be honest, when he wasn't playing. But, you know, it's one of those... I don't think he'd have played tonight anyway, even if he was fit. No reason, really. You can't risk him. It's a dead rubber. Uh, no injuries and hopefully get a decent draw and the next one will be away first hopefully and but you can't be the champion league can you not everybody wants to win it but i win it i want to win it so despite it being a dead rubber you come enthusiastic always listen like you good days bad days can't change them i wouldn't change them these are special nights you know we'd have only dreamt for about this i saw the first one with fanny Batchy back in 67 and then it's a long haul apart from the uefa cup game so champions league Got to win it, Ian. Got to win it. It was a dead rubber last week, weren't we? But we had a good time in Dortmund. So, uh, let the play young ones have a go. They may do the same. They're, they're still up for it, so it'll be, a, it'll be... I don't think they'll go for a dead rubber. They can still, you know, they want some pride out of the game. Have you got any sympathy for the fans who may have come today hoping to see Harland and the superstars? Well, that's the... Uh, the chance you take into it, you buy your ticket, you, you go to a game, and they may play not the right team, team that you want to see. So it may be a question of we just want him back, don't we? We want him back. He's got. I don't think he'll play this next week or so. But he's got three a good uh, couple of months off. Absolutely. So we'll see how it goes. What do you think about tonight? I think so. It's not as dead rubber as everyone thinks. I think can Seville still they can't qualify. They can only finish third. Well, they'll be fighting for With fans who have bought tickets, you know if you're buying the last one of the last games that City will nine times out of ten be qualified. Pep prides himself on getting the job done early and then rotating. But I think it's a good chance to see what some youngsters can do. I'm disappointed the uh, young lad Borges is not in the squad. He was on the bench for the U U League, wasn't he? He didn't play. So I don't get why he's not in the squad when potentially likes of Mares or Grealish could do with a bit of a rest. But... You both seem quite philosophical then. Oh, I'm getting tired. Yeah, we're city fans, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> Should be an interesting game. I've not seen the team yet, but uh, I can show you the team. Yeah, show us the team. Who would you have thought might be in? Alvarez. Yeah. Uh, who else? I have no idea. Diaz and Laporte at the back. Are they? Yeah. Oh, that's a good. So, so a he mixture wants... of younger, no cold farmers in there. He, he wants to win the game. That's for sure. You know, he doesn't want to set, settle for the draw. So are you expecting a competitive game then, even though it's a dead rubber? Yeah. Yeah. I think, it, and that's one thing about coming tonight. It's going to be interesting to see the blend of the younger players getting a start and seeing how they face up to it all. 
And hopefully we'll get a good result again. And we've only got three more games before we break for the World Cup, so anything's possible. Because what we really want is where we are, top of the league in this tournament, maybe first or second in the Premier League, and in the next round of the Carabao Cup. And we can't ask for any more cup until January, until the end of December. There's a lot of good teams there, you know, Bayern, Real Madrid, uh, PSG, so it's going to be tough. Fingers crossed. Poor first half, better second half. Really good football around those up there. So they needed to bring on those extra special players, really, didn't they? Um, I thought Palmer is more his right winger. He's not a centre, he's not a centre mid, he's not a attacking midfielder. He's a, he's a right winger. What do you think? Yeah, great game. Rico, fantastic performance. But again, Palmer, right wing, but good substitutions, changed yeah. the game, really good performance altogether. Rico Lewis got a standing ovation when he went around the touchline. Oh, yeah, brilliant. Incredible player, one for the future. He's uh, definitely one for us uh, to, to keep, keep playing in the first team as well. Great player. How close do you think he is then to the first team proper? I mean, I've seen him a few times. He's not, he's not too far away, but I think sometime with the first team, a few more games under his belt, he'll be there eventually. Great goal. Great goal. A beautiful game, that. Uh, First half of four. Nothing, yeah, quite. Second nothing, half were a lot better. Nothing to play for. Up, when he brought some of the big guns back in. Nothing to play for, but the second half, we, we battered them. We, so we dominated them. All about the substitutions then. Yeah, good substitutions. They, 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 made, they made a great like young difference. Kids, young made kids played well. When you came here today, did you expect it to be a bit of a non-event as it was a dead rubber? Well, it's, it seemed like that when we walked over. No, no, not it was, for me. It it's always it a party. Every time I come to this place, it's a party. It's we, have a, we, have a, we have a load of beer. And He's talking about I, I, I love this game. I love, this, game. Anything, I love, I love this place. I love Main Road and I love this place. <laughs> and it, it's just a, a, a party atmosphere. So I, I'm happy. Good. And we've another win. Happy days. You never quite know what to expect when it's a so-called dead rubber. The group was already won. Sevilla were already in third place. City played one or two youngsters. It was nice to see Rico Lewis score a goal. But standing evasion when he went round the track behind that goal at South Stand End, which was richly deserved, and I bet he enjoyed his night. Pep brought on the reinforcements with. Kevin De Bruyne and Rodri at half time when he came on for Jack Grealish and uh, the great Kevin De Bruyne and it turned the game round 3-1 victory and on to the next. So a big thanks to Timson, to RRG Group, to all the people who support me whether it be retweeting, sharing, appearing on the videos or just liking and, and putting up nice comments, I really appreciate it. RRG Group and Timson have been supporting me all season, thanks to them. Uh, and as always, um, great game here at the Etihad with goals. Isn't it great to be a blue? See you against Fulham on Saturday. If you're here, say hello.